Hello everyone, welcome to today's video, and I just realized how dark it was in here, so sorry. Um, I sent an email to my RSB counselor detailing which braille displays I was interested in, and apparently he thought that they had access to all of the braille displays I wanted to look at. I don't really... I don't really know. Excuse me. But, um, he had sent me an email back and was like, I thought you would be more firm on what braille displays you want. And I'm sitting here trying to explain that I never got to see the human wear displays. So, I mean, in person, like, they sound good, like, in theory, like, on the website and all the information I looked up, but I never got to actually play with them and learn how they work and use them. And so I don't really know how to answer that email. Like, I just basically told them that, I mean, it's not Alpha Point's fault that they... Um, didn't have access to these displays. Maybe they didn't have funding for them. I don't really, um, know what happened there. I guess they don't have a lot of clients that come in and ask to see human wear displays. But I was basically, you know, explaining to him that I didn't, that I, um, didn't get to see those in person. And, um, I don't know, right now I just feel kind of dumb because I feel like my decision should be more solidified than it is, but I was basically telling him, like, out of the two displays that he showed, or that I was shown at Alpha Point, um, I really liked the HEMS, um, braille display, and for those of you who are blind, um, there are different types of braille displays made by different companies. Um, the, um, Humanware makes all kinds of blindness technology, including braille displays. I don't know, you can Google them to see the differences, but each one has its perks and its non-perks, I guess you would call it. Let's go with advantages and disadvantages. And so I really feel like I can't make a decision until I get to play with them, which is really stupid because I don't know anybody who has a human wear display that would just be like, here, play with this. <laughs> and I don't really... I like, okay, I like the hymns display that I saw. I really do. But, in case you never noticed before, I have really tiny hands, or really small hands, and they have, like, okay, braille displays, most of them, not all of them, but most of them that I've seen or heard of, has at least two space bars, because the space bars serve other functions. I don't know how useful or helpful this even is, but, um, braille displays serve, or the space bars serve other functions other than spacing between words. And so the hymns braille display is a little further apart than I would like, which causes me to have to use um, both hands because they're not that close together and again it's because my hands are super small so I don't like that's the only thing that I don't like about that braille display I think I could do it I really do like it a lot I just the reason that I wanted to go with a human wear display or device is because um of 
the amount of space between the two space bars is closer together and it's easier to use um, given that I have such small hands and for those of you who can't see I keep showing one of my hands which is actually really small but that's where I am right now um, I don't know I thought I knew which bell display I wanted and then now I don't so I don't know what I mean this is a one shot deal and I don't want to blow it by getting a bell display that I'm not going to 100% love um that's already happened to me once, but the device was not my choice at all. And my counselor doesn't want to do that to me again. And I don't want to do that to me. <laughs> so I don't really um, know what to do right now. So I'm kind of at a loss. Like, what am I supposed to say? I mean, if that's the only thing that I'm unhappy about, how do I fix that? Baby, we were talking about brow displays. Which one should I get? She's like, I don't care. I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. You're so cute. You're cute. Did you know that? Oh, there you are. I was pointing the camera the wrong way the whole time. I love you. Why are you laying on the floor like a dog? You're supposed to be in your bed. You're silly. <laughs> I can fix your bed, you know. I'll do that tomorrow. I'll fix your bed. Make it all pretty for you. I love you. <laughs> You're goofy. This is how her bed is currently situated. Half of it is like up against the wall. And she's, this is her blanket that she's supposed to be covering up with. But instead, she's laying on it. You're goofy. Yeah, you're goofy. You're a goofy goober. Yeah, you are. You're a very goofy goober. But I love this goofy goober. She's mine. You can't have her. Alright. It's time to end today's video. I hope you like it enough to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. Ring that notification bell. Make sure it's set to all notifications. Leave a comment if you have something to say. Like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter. Both of these things are Steffi2010. Can be found below the about section on my YouTube page. And can also be found in the description as well as a link to translate and or transcribe my videos into other languages. So if you know a language, feel free, um, other than English that is, feel free to do that. And I will see everyone tomorrow. And tomorrow!